Hello! It's How To Cosplay time again. And now we're going to be covering the last Doctor of the Classic Era, and arguably one of the most complex ones to date. That's it. We're doing Time's Champion. The Seventh Doctor. So, the Seventh Doctor has a few definitive looks to his name, so we're going to be going through them. He has Season 24, 25, and of course Season 26, as well as the TV movie. So, we'll be going through them, and yeah... Let's do it. Firstly, the jacket. Always the best place to start. Seven wore a cream safari jacket with some very large pockets, which is a bit tricky to find. Now, the easiest option to go with is the Barra's Boutique version for the cream jacket, or as they call it, the stone jacket. However, even though it is accurate, it isn't exactly cheap, coming in at a rather pricey $249 or £160. This is the best version on the market forever for that costume. If not, any white or light grey suit jacket you can find will definitely be enough to pass. Always search eBay. For the brown jacket, Barons also do a version. However, our dear friends at Magnoli specialise in the brown jacket. However, again, it does come too cheap at a rather pricey £270 or $415. Again, any plain brown suit jacket could suffice if you can't get this. The layers now. Fortunately, these are the easy bits. The jumper, or sweater depending on which part of the pond you're watching this from, has been fully made by Lavrasi and is readily available. It's quite a faithful replica of the original to be honest and works with both the Season 24, 25 and the Season 26 costumes. Seven is one of the only Doctors to ever wear a standard tie, and so his Season 24, 25 tie is a red paisley one with greyish patterns. The best place to find one like this is, of course, eBay, and Seven wears it with a standard white shirt. For Season 26, he switched to darker hues, such as brown. Trousers. Seven carries on the long tradition of the Doctor wearing plays and tartan trousers, this time wearing a grey pair. Now, as always, tartan trousers are quite difficult to locate, but if in doubt, there is a great alternative pair available from Sports Direct. Nice and cheap too. Any grey trousers will be fine also. Shoes. Seven wore brown and white wingtip shoes, and it pleases me to say that eBay have a fantastic pair up for grabs. However, like most shoes, they're not cheap. But I will say, brown shoes will be perfectly fine as an alt. The Silk Scarf. One of the defining parts of Seven's costume. But of course, you need to find it first. Never fear, eBay is here, with a fantastic lookalike of Seven's scarf that you just wear around the collar of your jacket. However, if you want to be different, you could always go for the Time of the Wani look, which involved a red tartan scarf instead. And also, uh, involved tucking the jumper into his trousers, as well as braces over the jumper too. It's entirely your choice. The hat. McCoy's trademark hat was a straw colonial Panama hat. He had rolled it up so many times that I had to adapt it to curled up brim. A very good one is here on eBay. Naturally, of course, you'll need the hat band to go along with it. Firstly, get rid of the pre-installed one. You'll never be needing that. <laughs> Ever. Once again, with his fondness for Paisley, Seven used a red Paisley hat band. Or bandana, shall I say. Right now, the easiest and cheapest option is this one on eBay, especially seeing as the screen-used versions are near impossible to find, let alone for a cheapish price. However, this one does look the part. Pocket Watch McCoy has a gold pocket watch on a cord chain he kept in his upper left pocket, which clips onto his lapel. This is the closest version I could find for cheap with the chain, and I think it does the job, not to mention just being so very classy. I mean, look at it. And finally, what is, without a doubt, the most definitive part of the Seventh Doctor's costume, the Umbrella. Fortunately, like the Jumper, it is readily available from our dear friends at Abbey Shot, and I assure you, it is magnificent. Right, well, that's the TV costume sorted. Next up, the TV movie costume. The Seventh Doctor got a complete overhaul for the 1996 movie, even though it wasn't even worn for that long before his regeneration. But still, it's my personal favourite of his costumes, and definitely one to do if you're not too keen on the quirkiness of the TV costume. Anyway, the jacket. It's pretty much a standard brown tweed jacket, very much like the 11th Doctor's tweed from Series 5. So, if you're a tweed 11 cosplayer, you already have a leg up. If you don't have one, however, as always, eBay is the cosplayer's best friend, and there are multiple selections and choices. The rest of the outfit is pretty simple. All you need is a burgundy waistcoat, which again is readily available from any formal wear retailer. Here's one I found earlier. All you need with that is a standard white shirt and black tie. The trousers, however, are much more irritating, as they are a dark tartan pattern. But if in doubt, the golfing trousers I linked to should work well all the same. Other than that, the outfit is fairly simple and yet ever so classy.
Well, that's it for how to cosplay the Seventh Doctor. I hope this was helpful to you, and of course, if you have any other questions, then feel free to ask. But until next time, we'll be covering the colourful clown, that is, the brilliant Sixth Doctor. See ya.